Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Forgotten Friends Friday. So I will tell you about this forgotten friend, even though she's not a forgotten friend, but anyway, her stuff has been a little bit forgotten. So let's, but let's say hi and hugs to Terry, Debbie, Gina, and Denise. First, thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. And um, yeah, this is my collection of Tracy Fox stuff. Um, I was on Tracy Fox's design team for a number of years. And so I have all sorts of her stuff. And we're going to play with that today. We're just going to make some ephemera today. Um, first, I wanted to show you this little book I made years ago. Big pocket there, little pocket there, side pocket there, side pocket there. And these are with Tracy's Digitals. And then a big pocket there. And um, yeah, I just, I just, I stuck stuff in all these pockets. So um, I did see these were bugs. So I thought we might... Do those there might there'll be probably other things in here that we'll do also there was bugs here let's pull those out since I know I'm doing a journal with bugs Tracy would be shocked because I always told her I didn't like the bugs <laughs> so um, so anyway that is that little folio and we'll grab a few things out of it Oh, I wanted to show you real quick before we get started on this, and who knows, we might use some of this. These are um, these are the rest of the clusters that I made from Wednesday's uh, little bit little bits of lace challenge. This one I put a little piece of fabric on. Um, I specifically wanted to show you though. I'll just thumb through them so you can see them. Just got them all sewn up basically. Um, this one I decided to put a little lace across there. So of course you can add to the basic idea as much or as little as you want to. Um, but I wanted to show you these. These are painted book pages and I did the exact same thing with them and I forgot to show you that on Wednesday. So anyway, we'll see if we end up using any of these in what we're doing today. I've got them there if we need them. Okay, I need to figure out where to put these for the moment. Just gonna lay them over here. I've got my Tim Holtz stuff out as well um, because I just did a Patreon video with a fun little project using Tim Holtz. So, okay, let's, let's get busy here. This is a pocket. We'll just see what we can do with this. So, yes, I very much enjoyed being on Tracy's design team. I really did. It was so much fun, and she's such a sweet lady. Uh, yeah, I, I stopped all design teams except for Blue Fern Studios years ago, though, because I was on so many, it was starting to take over everything. You know, I didn't have time to do anything that that I had that I wanted to do so yeah there's a, there's a time for everything turn 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 <laughs> there's a season there is a time for everything you that all of you that are my age will remember that reference <laughs> if you're not my age, maybe not so much. Okay, so this is going to be a little pocket. Yes, it is. So that's all done. What would we like to put on there as well? I feel like it could use an up and down word. Let's see what we have in my junk journal studio stuff. I feel like it should be black. Um, maybe this size, just pull those out. Let's see. Victorious. Do you think that bug is victorious? 
I think it is. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just make it victorious, even if it isn't. Okay, yeah, so honestly, this is just going to be mostly decorating because that's, that's, uh, I just have all these beautiful digitals. Maybe it'll give you some ideas of how to, you know, jazz up your digitals a little bit. This one, I, I want some, I want something behind that. What do I have in here? Have to be skinny. Maybe I can use that. Excuse me, just digging in drawers behind me, but you know, sometimes you don't know what you need till you need it. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just put that there. Just going to give that a cut. And that's going to give it a little more um, texture, you know. I'll keep this out just in case we use it for something. Let's get the, let's get the sleeves rolled up and so these ephemera pieces know we mean business. Okay. And boom, we have one done. Okay, there's a little pocket. Now I'm thinking just because let's um I don't know if there's enough in here, but we'll try it. Let's put on Nouveau Crystal Glaze on his little body down here. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty well, pretty well closed up. That might, might be good. Let's see. I do have a new bottle if we need it. I think we need it. Sorry about that. I'm gonna lay that on its side. Maybe we can use it later. Let's see. I've got a new bottle though. Nuvo N U V O Crystal Drops. That's what these are called. And my pal Corey Dahman, she kind of got me hooked on them along with quite a few other things. <laughs> oh, yes, let's just make him have a shiny body. Not all of it, just this part where his wings are. Just trying to smooth it out. Okay. We're going to have to set this aside so we don't goober it up. This one's a little thicker than the other one that I had. Maybe it's now, I kind of like to tap it just to even it out a little bit. So, there we go on that one. Let's see, where can we put you? Put you over here. Yeah, we don't want him to mess up. Okay. Then we have these. Now, over in... My Tracy stuff, I have big tags. I'll try and tell you where they're from. Um, 
This is the grungy, grungy wallpaper, botanical, poetic, florals, journal card. So there's a few things in here. I think that might look neat on that. Okay, let's do it. I'm just going to cut this out. She said as she slaughtered the poor thing. Yeah, so um, I've just been thinking I'd like to use all the, I mean, I have all this stuff printed and I haven't used it much on other projects because I wanted to keep it for some of these tags and journal cards and pockets that I have from Tracy's stuff. Okay, I think I'm going to use Walnut Stain instead of Vintage Photo because it's, it's darker and I think it'll show up on this better. Yeah. So we can go a couple of different ways on this pocket on top here. We can make it a side pocket if we want to, or we can just glue it down, or we can make it kind of a belly band type of thing. We've got, we've got options. You know, using it as a pocket or a belly band gives the option of more writing space because we can put some kind of little journal card or something in there. Whereas, whereas just gluing it down, it's just going to be the back's going to be your journaling spot and that's it. So I don't know. We'll see how we go. I just felt like I needed a play and... And needed to, you know, play with these things I'd forgotten for a while. Okay. I think I'm going to put it on as a belly band. That's what I'm going to do. It's not like you have to use it that way, but. Okay, and I'm going to try and try and kind of center it ish. Okay. Now let's decorate. Let's do some fun stuff on this. First thing that's catching my eye is my little fun tape from my friend. Sue. Hi, Sue. I'm using your tape. <laughs> Let me give it a little. It's, it's got its double-sided tape, but oh, I still think I'll give it a little glue. Okay, I'm just going to do that right down there. Got a lump of glue in there. Okay. And it needs stuff. So we could put, oh, let's do one of these. Just gonna cut out this one. And, excuse my reach, need my little scissors. I'm thinking I might put this at the top of the tag rather than a hole or a tab or anything. Okay.
put that right there, I think. And what else would we like on this? Oh, how about... I'm going to put that there. Still feel like I need something there. Um, what about maybe... I don't know. We're going to try it. Um, like a washy flower right there or something. I think what I'm wanting is something a little more subtle, like that is pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to do that instead of a label there. Okay. Just give this a little pick pick. Right. I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to have to clip off that a little bit. Didn't get it over far enough. It's okay. Now, if I don't care for the white there, so I'm just going to go over it lightly with my vintage photo, and that will help it to blend in a little more okay so now I was thinking about I had this stuff out for um, for my patreon video let's put that little number right there I put this number here. I might put this here. Yeah. Okay. Just using things, aren't I? Feeling very proud of myself for using things. this down in this corner preferably straight that's about as straight as I get these are old so I was having a little trouble with them on the other video but they're working eventually. Okay, so then this, I'm going to just cut this all the way down nearly to the letters. And um, then I can just put it right there. Now, it may or may not get covered up depending on what you what you were to put in there, in the belly band. Okay. Usually don't have to work this hard with them, but like I say, they're old. There we go. Okay. Hmm, I wonder if there's something in one of these bags that we could put in the... There's an envelope. A 
that might is a maybe. There's a little journal card. Here's a cute journal card. Ooh, there's a B. Let's use the B. Okay, now we need to decorate this a little bit. <laughs> I mean, the florals and things that Tracy has, you can use in anything. I am kind of concentrating on bugs just because I have those journals coming up at some point here. They're on my list. They're on my list. And I know you guys want me to do them on camera. So I will do that. Okay, that is cute, but it needs a tab. Methinks. Probably. Let's see. These are the ones I got from... Uh, Jolene and Lorette, they're lovely, um, I'm thinking that one would go good. They're lovely embossed whale tails from, um, a jewel design is Jolene's Etsy for her digitals, and then, um, Journal Design and Supply, I think is what the, the shop is called. Okay, I want to do, I'm just going to do some vintage photo to bring out the, the embossing a little bit more. And then let's just use glue stick. So, yeah. me get that onto here. Okay, and then that is going to slide in that away. Okay, another piece done. Well, let's see. Um, okay, we've looked in that one and that one. Let's see in here. Ooh, this is a fat little pouch here um this one tracy artie may's tag collaboration so there's lots of good tags in here you know what this one that one could go good with one of these yes 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 okay we're off and running again I do enjoy making ephemera, which is why I have so much that's, <laughs> that is, you know, available for me to use when I'm putting together a journal. It sure does make it quicker, though, when you've got stuff that, you know, maybe not everything. You're going to make some stuff for your journal on the fly, but if you've got a good bit of the ephemera pre-made, it's... It's helpful. Okay, I think I'm going to move that down a bit again. And do we want this to be a pocket? I think I do. So I'm going to glue here, here, and here and make it a pocket. <laughs> Crooked. It's a good thing I'm not driving right now. <laughs> Just can't seem to do a straight line. Okay. Okay, now we can decorate. Now I'm kind of wondering again about one of these. One of these at the top. You know, and the lovely thing about digitals is you can always print more. But, you know, I don't know about you, but when I get a kit, I print the whole darn thing. And then, um, 
And then I always have leftovers, but You know, I mean, I didn't I didn't do any of the bugs because I wasn't into bugs. But then I decided to do a bug journal, and then I got into bugs. Let's see, is that going to... Yeah, that'll be nice up there. So, so yeah. Yeah, I think Tracy would be like, what? You're, you're using bugs? I thought you hated bugs. Well, I don't like bugs. I don't hate bugs. I don't like them in the world. I don't mind them as much on paper, though. They're cute on paper. <laughs> if that was in my craft room, you would be hearing me scream. You wouldn't even need your volume on. You could hear me so well. Okay, I have an idea for this one. Let's grab my blingy blings. Oh, gosh. Excuse my reach. And let's grab these. I'm going to see how big a blend do we need there. I think I might go with the medium size, like that size. Okay. Give it a little, give it a little depth. way too much glue but you know it's not going anywhere <laughs> okay now we need to think about like there I mean I could do a label like this I don't I don't think that's what I want though I'm just gonna say I'm not not thinking so but we'll just see what it looks like just for the heck of it Mm-hmm. No. It's too too themey. Too many bugs. Okay. So let's put those back and decide. You now what I might like is a big label to wrap around. Might be nice. Ugh. My big old book here. I've got all of these labels. That's like a lady. It looks like a lady in a bathtub, kind of. That's too big. What's this one? Too little. <laughs> Where's the just right? It might be still just a little big. What's this one? Can hear you. For sale by. I don't, I'm not liking the words on that one. I kind of like that one. I'd rather have this side though. But that would mess up our pocket. Well, that's a that's a maybe. Haberdashery department. Kind of like that one. Try this one. Kind of the wrong color. I'm going to use this one. Okay. Once it's once it's distressed up, I think it will be just right. Oh, left that one out. Okay. Well, that one's asking to be used here shortly, I think.
Okie dokie. Now, I realize I have about a gazillion Tracy labels, too. That would work. Okay, there is that. I think I would like some sort of number right there. That's kind of neat with the line on it. Let's see. Like that, yes. Kind of on the on the lump there with that, but that's okay. Yes, I like that. I feel like I want a little little something down here. Maybe I'll use some of my tape. Oh, here's a piece. Jumped right out. Let's put that underneath it. There. I think I might want it like that. Okay, I'm going for it. And then this has, like I say, it's got the got the pocket so okay yep I like that I'm kind of wondering about taking one of these and cutting it down into a journal cart size like maybe this one I think I will because you know you don't have to use these as intended Where's my, there it is, my ruler. See now, that will fit in here. Cool. I might keep that to use as a tab or something. Okay. I think I'm gonna Look like snip the corners of this. And then give it a little. I do blame Rachel for that, by the way, the snipping of the corners. <laughs> I don't think she watches my videos anymore, but if she happened to, there you go, Rachel. That's a thing from you. Okay. Okay. That has to go that way. What about that for a tab? Let's do it. And we'll have another thing done. We're not getting a ton done, but that wasn't my intent. My intent was just to have some fun using some of Tracy's Digitals. Okay, and then I'm just going to go kind of midway with that. Okay, there's that one. Yes. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, good, good. We've got more time. Okay, let's let's dive into a couple more of these pouches and see what we've got. Ooh, that's so pretty. Look at that. 
This is some more, this is more um, kind of tag bases. So that's a possibility. Let's see in here. Um, this one is Tracy Fox layered tags, this black one. This one is, oh, Tracy and Jessica at Two Silver Oranges. They did a collaboration years back and I printed all that out. lot of um, like what would you call them family picture type of things and there's a fun tag some postcards okay what's in there what else do we have this one is her fabric swatch add-on and there's tags and pockets and stuff in this. So those are pockets. Pocket, pocket, pocket. Tags and such. Okay. That's what's in that one. And I think this one is... Nope, not this one. This one? Oh, I already got out the other fabric swatch one, which is over there somewhere. And this one, Tracy Fox, Artie Mays, tag collaboration. This is, or is it a journal card? Journal card collaboration. Let's do one of those for fun. Okay. Now I've shown you all of my, except this one, small botanical labels. I get this out all the time when I'm making the cards for my Patreon folks. I put these in there. So I have used that one multiple times. Okay, so let's do, let's see what there is. Let's do a journal card. See, look at, there's all those. And then there's, they, they go all the way to a little, little size. So, but they can all be layered once again. Oh, I like the one with the stamp on it. Flowered one. Oh, that's pretty, the flower there. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to use the stamp one. Then let's find one of these that goes well because I'm gonna I'm gonna layer it up again. There's one with postcard. That would be good probably. Okay. And see you could layer it up even one more time. Let's make a pocket out of that and a pocket out of that. How about? And then there's fun things to decorate with in here. Okay, we'll use this pouch this time. Okay, ink. We need to ink. So this one's going to be a pocket. The other one's going to be a pocket. And maybe there'll be some fun little things to stick in there. We'll say these look fabulous inked. Gosh, I was watching Edith at scrapbooking with me the other day, and, and she was she was inking and she um, sped up the video, and it was like <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I was like, gosh, I really I wish I could ink that fast. That was awesome. So the back here will be for writing, but the other two are going to be pockets. So not so not so much. All right, we need our art glitter glue just to make into a pocket. 
I mean, this could be a pocket on a page as well as a journal card. I guess you could, could decide whilst decorating your journal, right? Because you can put this in a pocket or it could be the pocket. I want it like over here and put something there. I think I do. Or do I want it over here because then that shows. I think I do. Okay. <laughs> Had to talk through that a little bit. All right. Let's just, I'm just going to go right above where it says postcard. Okay. Pockets are ready. Let's see what we have to decorate with. Um, ooh, this is nice. It's a little bit too big, isn't it? Okay, going for something smaller. There's a ticket. Perhaps. That could go there, perhaps. And I've got some bigger butterflies. Yes. There it is. Okay. And I think we'll put some rub-ons on this one, too. I think Mike and I are going to watch Oppenheimer tonight. We'll probably, it's like three hours long, so we'll probably make it into a two-night activity. But, um... It's on, it's on Peacock, and we've been wanting to watch it. So we watched Killers of the Flower Moon um, the same way in two nights because it was three hours too uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio, Di, DiCaprio and um, is it Lucy Greystone or something like that? She won best actress for that movie it was really good um sad but good let's see okay we put this on so um yeah so that was our last couple i told you we finished suits so we've started on the last season of blacklist now and then we're gonna have to we're gonna have to find a new i i want to watch the newest seasons of I think we might be two seasons behind on Ted Lasso. So I want to do that and then we'll then we'll see. You guys always give me good tips on such things. Mike's used to hearing me say, one of my subbies said we should watch this or that. <laughs> okay, so big old moth you are gonna go there and then I do think I want a rub on of some sort Let's see. I've got The this side up kind of cracks me up or maybe right maybe right there gonna have to gonna have to dig down to get it but that's okay just about be getting this rub on done aren't I getting down to the to the nitty gritty yeah I think I'm gonna put that right there because it makes me giggle it's like this this side up <laughs> so stuff doesn't fall out of your pockets <laughs> Okay, back 
in there so I don't lose you. Okay. It's kind of right there. Again, there's a lump there where it goes up the hill to, um, oh, there we go, where it goes up the hill to get onto the ticket. Come on. There we go. Okay, and then I think I want a real stamp there. Like, like something green. Like that. Yep. Okay. Put you right there. Got a big old glob of glue. Um, and then I think. I want a little piece of tape right there, there, no, I think I want it right on that little edge, give that a little something, and then we need to figure out a, a journal card for it, or, you know, or three really, it's going to be able to hold. be fine. I'm just going to go like that. Okay. Journal cards. I'm thinking I mean we could use one of these in here, but that's it's a bit small. Um That go in there it could and I think I'm just gonna fold it in half and ink it up and then that's a good writing space on the back okay decision made there thinking about what to put in that other one. I'll tell you what I'm thinking here in about two seconds. Okay, I'm going to stick that down in there like that. I'm thinking about putting this in there. I'm going to put that in there. You can write on the back. I think it's fun to have unexpected things to write on. I'm finding that in the journal that I'm journaling in right now. It's like, ooh, okay, I get to put today over on that. <laughs> okay. Oops. I just goobered up his antler. Dude. Don't get your antlers in a bundle. <laughs> okay, that one's done. I'll figure out something to go behind it at the time that I put it in a journal. How we doing? Okay, we've got about 15. Um, that was the journal card. We did that one. We did that one. Uh, 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 uh. What's this one? No. Should we do a couple of pockets? Nope, I'm not feeling that. Let's do... No, not that. Uh, 
Let's do these. We haven't done one of these. And these are really, these are really fun too. So these are, what are these called? Grungy wallpaper. And they're fun too, because you can lay them up. Ooh, how about that one with that one? I think that's rather fun. Okay. Oh boy, I'm throwing things out here. Well, we would have gotten, let's see, one, two, three, four, counting the one that's got the glaze on it over there. Done. And then this is good for a lot of decoration there, like a flower or bird or something. And I'm going to do the back of this because this will be writing space. And I'm kind of thinking with this one, kind of thinking we could use this and then we'll have used those all up. How's that? Not the easiest to cut out, but not impossible. Just move your paper on the curve. That's the only hint. I did like this with the little brass things on it, but maybe we'd do pearls on this one or something because it's a little more grandma's living room <laughs> or something. Okay. I think once again, I'm going to make that into a pocket and let's do this. Okay. That right about there. And put this at the top. Like that. And then what do we have for got all sorts of pearls. I think these little ones will be just fine. Oops. Use these little guys. Gosh, my hands are inky. One of my subbies said, That means you're having fun if you're inky. Sure does. Okay, yay for that. Now, what are we gonna do to decorate this bad boy up a bit? Um, flower, maybe? I don't know. Need some kind of grandma flower. Ooh, that's a bit of a grandma flower. But it's too big. It's not gonna work. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Give us some ink. 
And then what about maybe some lace or something? Oh, you know what else we could have used? You guys were probably yelling at me. That's why it came into my brain just now. I mean, that is cute, but we could use one of these. Oh my gosh, that's cute, isn't it? I'm going to use that. Save this flower for another day <laughs> or another project. Okay. In general, I said I don't ink around these, but this has a little white showing. And I think it will frame it out a little better if I do put a little. Okay. So if we put that right there, then... We can put we can put some other little accents or something. This is great though because I do I do want to use these because I don't really have don't really have enough room in my in my cluster book. Oh, let's put her right side up. What do you say? <laughs> Maybe that's a good idea. Okay, I'm just going to put a little fabric tack under the lace to keep it down. Keep it simmered down. There we go. Okay, now what else would we like to put on there? I don't know that my don't really have anything in my rub-ons. So let's look Let's look in here. Live, laugh, create. I think I'd like something in a different color, a little darker. Yes. Like this. That's cute. There. Ooh, I think I like it better there. Okay, well. Maybe we'll just put a little piece of tape down there in the corner or something again. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys, I can't get a hold of it. There we go. It's kind of like when you need just a little something, this old tape is a subtle, subtle way to do that. Okay, there's that one. Now, we don't have a journal card to put in that. What time is it? It's getting there, isn't it? Um, where's my journal card ones that we just did? Nope. This must be them. Yes. I'm wondering if one of these... Yes, indeed. This is a cute one. It's got flowers on it. Postcard. Good for journaling. On the back. So, it's kind of nice to have, you know, when you've got a pocket on the front of something, to have whatever you're going to have in there to have that all ready to go and then the piece is just ready to put right into your journal which is nice okay let's see how that is going to go that's about as far as it goes but that's okay I like it okay you guys I am 
So we have that bug one and that one that need to go back in and my flower that needs to go back in its little nook. But let's just see what, see what we got done. Okay, so there's this one with the postcard in it. And there's this little kind of pocketed stuffed journal card. And there's this buggy tag. And this buggy tag. We'll go get the other one. So I got five things done, but we used um yeah, this is a tag. This is a this is a pocket, but look how pretty his little body looks. Yeah, so used up some Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals things today. I will um I will link Tracy's Etsy shop below. And yeah, thanks for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.